Hello, my name is Maria and this is Mathy, my mascot. In this lesson we're going to study adding many numbers. Now here I have three different groups of marbles. What's that, Mathy? Oh, he thinks these remind him of blueberries. Of course, Mathy, everything reminds you of blueberries because you love blueberries. But whether you think of them as different kinds of berries or marbles, doesn't matter. I have here three, right? And here I have two, and here I have four. And I'm going to add all of those together. See, three plus two plus four. So how many is it together? What is the total? I can count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I get nine. I could also count it this way, starting from here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The same result. How about here? Here are four blueberries plus one raspberry plus two green berries and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again, I could add them in some other order. I could start here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I would still get seven. Let's look at that principle, that idea in little more detail. I have the same addition problem here three times. And I can draw some dots for me to help me add these. Two and one and three. Let's check what we get when we add in different orders. Let's say I first add this and this. One, two and three. So I get three. These make three. And then I add the 3 and that 3. What's 3 and 3, remember? It is 6. So I get 6. Let's say that I find some other way to add. I add this and this first. 2 and 3. How much is 2 and 3? That's 5, right? And then, after I have 5, I add one more. 5 and 1 is 6. Or let's say that I add 1 and 3 first. Or 3 and 1. What's 3 plus 1? That's 4, right? These make 4, and then I add 2 more. 4 and 2. 4 plus 2. That is 2. 6. So any way you do it, you'll get the same answer. Let's practice a little bit. And with all of these problems, you can decide in which order you add the numbers. You can, for example, decide that you want to add this and this first. 1 and 0. Or 1 and 5. I'm going to add 5 and 1 first. 5 and 1, that's, that makes 6. And then 6 and 0 does not change anything, it's still going to be 6. Over here, 4 and 1 and 4. I'm going to add 4 and 4 first. 4 plus 4. I remember that's 8. And then 8 plus 1 makes 9. Or here, maybe I will add 3 plus 3 first. 3 plus 3 makes 6. And then the 2 makes 8. And over here, I'm gonna start with my biggest number, 6, and add 6 plus 2. That makes 8, right? And 8 plus 1 makes 9. You see? That makes it easier when you can choose in which order you add. Now let's look at number line additions too. You see, here we have three arrows. So we have three numbers to add. The first number the first arrow is two units or two little jumps long, so it is two. The next, the blue arrow, is just one little jump or one unit. And then the last, the long green arrow, how long is it? One, two, three, four, five, six units or six little jumps long. And in the end, where do we end up? At nine. Okay. Now let's draw arrows for this problem. What's that, Matthew? He wants to go jumping too. Shall we let him just this time? Okay, you can jump. Can you jump two and five and three, Matthew? Sure. Let's check if he's gonna jump it right. I'm at nine. He's at nine. Did he do it right? 2 plus 5 plus 3 makes 9? I don't think that's right, Mathy. Try again. Yeah, you go at 2. 
Now go five units. Right, and then three more. Yeah, that's right. You get a ten. Okay, two units. Then five units long. And lastly, three. We go all the way up to ten. True or false? That means right or wrong. Is this right? Is this correct? Or is it true? 2 plus 2 plus 5 makes 8. Okay, again it might be easiest to start adding from your biggest number. 5 plus 2, that makes 7. And then 7 and 2 more would be 7, 8, 9. It would be 9. So that's not true, it's false. That's not right, let's put 9 there. 1 plus 7 plus 0 equals 8, is it so? 7 and 1 makes 8, and then 0 does not change it, so yes, that's correct. Let's put the mark there, that's 2. Double 2, what does that mean? Double 2 means 2 and 2. So it is like 2 and 2. That is 4. Double 5 means 5 and 5. 5 two times. So, 5 and another 5. That's how much is it? It's like your fingers, 5 and 5. It makes 10. Double 0 is 0 and 0. Just again, 0. Right, Matthew? Right. Here's a little addition table. It looks like a puzzle. Well, it's not exactly a puzzle, but I'll show you how to work it. In each of these empty squares goes a number, goes an answer. Okay, for each of these you have to solve an addition. For this one, you look up, there's a number one, and you look here to the left, there's number two. So you add one and two. How much is that? The answer goes here, it is three. Now for this one, again look up and find the number. Four, look left and find the number over here, two. Four and two, that's what you add and put the answer here. 4 plus 2 equals 6. For this one, look up, 3, and look all the way here, 2. 3 plus 2, that is 5. And now we have 0 here, over here. Look up, 1. Look here, 0. 1 and 0. 1, over here. Look up, 4. Look here, 0. That's 4. Then look up and look to the left. 3 plus 0, 3. Try solve these last three on your own. Pause the video for a little bit. Okay, here we have 1 up there and 5 to the left. 5 plus 1, 6. Over here, 4 and 5. That makes 9. And then lastly, 3 and 5. That makes 8. All right, I hope you liked the addition table and the lesson. We are done with the lesson now.